What's up guys? Welcome back to the Montyverse. We are here for another trailer reaction. This time we're going to be reacting to the brand new Andor trailer. And you know when I'm talking Star Wars, I have to bring on my Star Wars expert, the much requested guest, Zach McDonald. Zach, welcome back, dude. Dude, good to be back. It's been a while since we did the Ninja Turtles trailer reaction, which I'm also an expert on. We talked about it before. It's Very how I made my reaction. name on the internet um but i'm so hyped for this trailer andor looks incredible um i guess you didn't even say it but we're, we're reacting to andor did you say that i did say um, it but we could say okay. it okay all right great just so everyone knows we're reacting to andor okay yes. good yeah. um the first trailer was incredible you know i've had i've had some big issues with mm -hmm. the um star wars tv shows you know I'm, I'm not like a disney star wars hater you know as far as the movies go they range from like them to love them for me so it, it's not like an issue that i have with disney for some reason i think the tv shows have just been they, they've missed for me they all feel they don't feel cinematic and when i think star wars i think cinematic and the first Andor trailer looked incredibly cinematic um and it got me it got me super hyped so I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty jacked for for uh, this new trailer. Yeah, just to touch on you were saying, like my relationship with the Disney Plus era of Star Wars has been pretty much the same. There are peaks and valleys, definitely. Uh, like the Mandalorian is a huge peak for me, but some other stuff not so much. I really liked parts of Obi Wan, most of Obi Wan, but I'm excited to see this. Like you said, the first trailer there was a lot of visual things that we haven't seen in Star Wars before. But you know what? Enough talking, dude. Let's just Enough pop talking. this trailer on. Let's you do ready? It. Ready. Oh, dude, that drone shot's incredible. It's gorgeous. I mean, like I said, it's just so cinematic. <laughs> That's Bro, awesome. just in atmosphere, cruising. To steal from the Empire? Okay, so it's like a mining planet or something. You just walk in yeah. like you belong. Oh my so god. Proud of the Senate looking good. So fat and the music is they can't imagine ripping. That someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. What I'm asking That's is That's crazy. This. Wouldn't you rather give it all? An Imperial Junkyard, I wonder what that's like. I need all the heroes I can get. Two tubes. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. Call it Saw Guerrera. It's Ooh. calling. Yes. War. There's fermenting out there, son. Pockets of fermenting. Are those Imperials? I can't really tell. You're in my name. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? I don't know what that means, but I like it. <laughs> I'm not slipping. Oh, I've just dude. been hiding for too long. <laughs> oh my this god, dude, this music. Irritation. There's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? Some some Godfather esque stuff. Going this on is there. what revolution looks like. I'm tired of Lucy. Oh. What in the world? Jesus! Look at these shots, dude. Three episodes. All right. Uh, how many did we get oh for Obi Wan? Oh my God. Uh, what was was it the first two right first two i think it was only two right night. yeah that's cool oh okay. my gosh dude dude <sighs> that trailer is unreal is this the best trailer that disney star wars has ever produced i'm gonna Quite say possibly. no but it is close it is up there i would say the first four force awakens trailer and I think it's the second Last Jedi trailer are probably, in my mind, the two best. Oh, actually, the first Rogue One trailer was also an absolute banger. But this is in 
This is in the conversation with those trailers. It's just so good. This is, so that, oh my gosh. Um, I mean, and it ahead. just, it looks like, uh, you know, we talked about this before we watched the trailer, before we actually saw it, but like, it looks so cinematic. And I, I'm sorry to keep using that word over and over again, but it's like, there's just, there, there's a, this element to it, you know, whether it be sort of the way shots are framed or the color grading or the contrast or all these different things that just bring these things to life and make them feel so much bigger, so much grander. And that is absolutely what this trailer is showing me. Yeah. Um, and, and that is in stark contrast to what we have seen from previous shows. Um, yeah. The scope is a lot bigger. and Yeah, that too. I think you need a larger lens to tell a story this big because this is essentially the Star Wars spy thriller. That's what it feels like. It feels like a really gritty, tense. Uh, right. It's like a it's like a spy thriller, political drama type type deal here. You know, we even had a couple shots like speak, speaking of like spy thriller. It looks like you know like Mission Impossible type shots yeah. happening in there. Like it just just the, it just feels just the the scenes in this trailer. You could feel kind of the tension oozing out of them. Like you're going to be, which promises to have these very tense standoff type situations in the series, which I absolutely love. I want to see Cass Cassian is an intelligence officer. He's a spy. I want to see him be in spy like situations. I want him to just narrowly escape after potentially being caught. I want him to go on missions with people that don't make it out because what they're doing is extremely dangerous. They yeah. are essentially building a rebellion against a galactic empire. Yeah, shit's going to get crazy. And, and I mean, that voiceover that he gives in the beginning where he's just talking about, you know, they're, they're showing the shots of him. I think that's supposed to be him as, as a, a youngster, mm -hmm. just sort of, you know, jumping into an Imperial, you know, I don't know if it was a ship or, or what it was exactly, but he's talking about how easy, you know, they're, they're, they're doing this sort of, uh, I, I don't think that voiceover necessarily belongs with those shots, mm -hmm. but just visualizing the concept of how easy it is for him to just sneak in because they're they're so proud of themselves he says you know they're they're fat and happy the and dialogue just like, is fantastic the the yeah. whole like they're they're so fat and proud of themselves yeah and, essentially and, uh, saying like they're so arrogant they'll never see me coming yeah but then also you get the line from stellan skarsgård who looks incredible in this i, I don't know exactly what his character story is but I'm, I'm very excited to find out because yeah. of what we see in this trailer. But he mentions, you know, they're choking us so slowly or something like that, that we're barely even noticing anymore, yeah. you know, and it's kind of like that uh, old parable about like, like boiling a toad or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's kind of like that, right? Where it's like, if you just keep raising the temperature one degree at a time, eventually, you know, uh, you, you, you've boiled whatever. And that's kind of like this It's choking them so slowly. It's just, tightening the grip, tightening the grip, tightening the grip, but they're just doing it so subtly that it's like people don't even notice anymore that they're getting choked out by the Empire. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, speaking of Selen Skarsgård's character there, we see towards this, in the latter half of that trailer, like, he is apparently part of, like, the elite, you know, rich and powerful there. Yeah. So it seems like he's got two, you know, one foot in, in each world there, um, which I think will be very yeah. interesting unlike most of the other politicians he looks to be more boots on the ground exactly what, yep. what also has me curious is we see him reach for what looked like a box of rings because he puts one on like a ring i believe that's stellan Skarsgård's yeah. character um yeah, that yeah. does that so i'm curious if like those those different rings mean something and if each ring means a certain like if they're for each network of the rebellion that he's infiltrating or maybe He's a spy, and, and, and he wears... It's just it's very intriguing. There's so many questions I have yeah. after watching this, and that's what right. you really want from a, tra a trailer, especially a story trailer like this one that essentially tells you the direction it's, the series is going. It, it, this trailer just hits on all cylinders. You know, like I said, from the, mm -hmm. just the way it looks to sort of the content that we're getting also. You know, we get some Mon Mothma there. Um, Loved it talking about you know just in this sort of like back room discussion you see there's some type of party or gathering happening and then they're they're off in some private room somewhere else handling business yeah um and you know she says something to the effect of like if they if they think i'm a nuisance or whatever then they won't they won't see what i'm really doing yeah um which i think is is great 
um, because obviously we know how big of a role she plays in um, the rebellion and then eventually the formation of the new republic. So, and it shows oh that gosh, Cassian Andor, I think, really in Rogue One, we get the idea that he's done a lot of bad things and he considers oh, himself yeah. an unsavory person. But when it comes to war, when it comes to rebellion, everyone is wearing a mask. Everyone has two faces. Everyone kind of leads a double life. And having us see that with Mon Mothma is, I think, is a very interesting contrast to Cassian, who, because they're both two very different people who grew up two very different ways. One of them is a politician. One of them kind of grew up cold and wet. And to kind of have that contrast is something I'm really excited to see between the yeah. two of them. Because, listen, there's a lot of gray area in war, especially oh, yeah. a war this important, essentially a war for the freedom of the entire galaxy. Yeah, I'm, I'm clicking through the trailer here and looking at some of the, mm -hmm. the dialogue and, you know, like like what you're saying here, you know, this is war and it's you get Saw Gerrera there and um, Stone Scar's character, you know, he says, call it what you will. And and um, Saw Gerrera responds, call it war. And it's like, yeah. exactly. That, that's what it is. It's war. And and we know from Rogue One and, and what we've seen from other shows and stuff like that, like Saw Gerrera is, he's, you know, him and the partisans, they're, they're ruthless. And yeah, they're you know, like they're, they're, yeah, they're any means necessary. Um, so I'm really curious to see kind of how they integrate also with, um, yeah. with, with what we're seeing here. It may just be a cameo, you know, it may just be something where he, they go to them for advice or help or something. And they, they maybe realize that's, not the group that they want to be associating with but either way i'm excited to see them um yeah gosh i just I, man i cannot believe this trailer there's, it just looks there's so good there, there was a shot at love. the end where they're like in a space battle mm -hmm. and so many gorgeous it, visuals it, yeah oh my gosh there's yeah, a Maz looking, Kanata right looking guy yeah i don't know what that guy he had what was that he had uh four arms he had four looked like a cross right. between like Rio Durand and Maz Kanata or something. Yeah. Um, what was the line about the fish? Because that might be my favorite line from the oh, trailer. Oh, uh, are you a fish or are you a thief? Let me see. I have the captions on. Yeah, you're right. Are you a fish or are you a thief? I'm just going to start saying that to people. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> to but quote Will Ferrell, it's provocative. It gets, gets the, the people, people going. going. Yeah. Like, that's it. I, I'm going to ask people that too. Whenever I'm, you know, just feeling them out, trying to see what they're about. You know, are, are you, you a fish, fish or are you a thief? Or are you a thief? You know, but again, just, just the political thriller aspect of this series has me excited. I mean, there's a lot of potential for this story. Uh, I know one of your favorite characters uh, from the sequel trilogy is, of course, DJ from The Last Jedi. Yep. And I'm wondering if we can get any sort of characters or maybe some sort of backstory for him. Probably, uh, you know what, maybe I would like him a little bit more removed. Maybe I would like some unique characters that, that have similar motivations to him. They're essentially war profiteers show up in this series at some point. I think that would be... Yeah, I mean, I think that would be interesting. And also, I think, like, with DJ, he, he it's not so much that he's, like, a war profiteer that he's, he's like, out for it. He's trying to yeah. start wars, but he's, like... He's, he's looking at it like, hey, this is the system that we're in, and I'm going to make the most of it. I'm not going to, you know, you know, join one side or join the other side. It's all good guys, bad guys, you know, what's the difference type of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think that'd be great to have somebody in this show who is sort of right down the middle. And because, like, I think the the Imperial who says the line about are you a fish or are you a thief, it seems like she is probably our primary antagonist looks like it. um in the on the imperial side mm -hmm. and then obviously we're gonna have um um Cassian andor and um you know his crew yeah like our, Mon Mothma and... our protagonist right and then yeah. we may have a couple different branches of that protagonist sort of branch there um but yeah i think it would be nice to have sort of like one more party involved that is maybe sort yeah. of Somebody was just like, "Hey, this is these are the cards we're dealt, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna look out for me. You know, I don't have a I don't have a bigger cause. I don't have you know. You, there's there's guilty people all over type of type of person, and I'm just gonna get mine because I mean that's that they can play a foil to anybody at that point. You know, Essentially. they can be a foil to the protagonist. They can be a foil to the antagonist. So 
And I really want to get more of that in Star Wars. Because yeah. Star Wars essentially, for like 95% of the franchise, is all good and evil, literally light and dark. Like, yeah. it's it's essentially a, just two sides. But life is not like that. There's a lot of gray. And, and no one is ever 100% truly good and 100% truly evil. So if anything is going to tell the dirtier, murkier sides, uh, the tales of war, this would be the series to do it, I think, more than anything. And that's kind of what I'm excited for most, because I want something, I'm craving something new from Star Wars. And while we were promised certain aspects, like gangster movies with Boba Fett, well, we weren't promised that, but that was kind of like the hope of what we were going right. to get with that show, and we didn't really get that. This, I'm really hoping they lean fully into the political thriller aspect of it, because that has me so excited. Yeah, I mean, the Boba Fett thing, they didn't necessarily promise us a gangster movie, but that's what we would call the promise of the premise, right? The yeah, premise exactly. was that, like, that's what it should be. And it really, it just wasn't. I mean, the book of Boba Fett, I'm not going to go too crazy, but it, it was a big letdown. And, you know, this feels like, a, you know, the pendulum is swinging way back in the other direction um, to something. I mean, this, this trailer is just, like, blown me away. Yeah, it looks incredible. Is there any other things that you noticed in the trailer that you wanted to point out? Oh, let me see here. I was kind of clicking through. You know, we get that shot of the Senate that that looks amazing. It's I think the first time oh, since um, the prequels that we've seen the whole Senate floor. Um, mm. And now this time, you know, sort of with these sort of modern effects and things like that, the VFX yeah. here just look so sharp um, and so good. I'm, I'm wondering if we'll see. Um, I doubt we'll see Palpatine, but maybe like Masamita or something like that. Possibly. Um, it's definitely a possibility. A little cameo here. Um, gosh, I just... It, it's so good. That's all. That's all I have to say. <laughs> all right. It's so good. All right, guys. If you like the video... I, well, you know what? I think we're done. Yeah. Before I get into the, the exit, I forgot to say that we were...